take a look at this Javante Tank Davis sparring clip, and I'm going to explain to you why it means absolutely nothing. Keep boxing, baby. Keep boxing. 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 Yep, they ain't stop fine. We said, Yeah, you ain't gotta get close, thank because we know you're scared to get close. Get close, thank Keep rolling. This is your boy JG. This is the punch report. In this video, I would like to discuss what happened over the course of last week with multiple league sparring videos Tank Davis, Roly Romero, Terrence Bud Crawford, and why we as boxing fans really need to pump our brake on that footage. Now, I know not everyone has the opportunity or the experience of getting in there sparring, getting hit, wearing headgear, things of those nature, things of that nature, excuse me. But oftentimes we're making predictions or we're seeding information about how I think a certain fight will play out based on a sparring clip. Now the clip you just watched, I believe it was Kevin Johnson, Javante Tank Davis, uh, he, and engaged in heated sparring. And that's really all it is. Sparring is a tool utilized by fighters at the height of the sport to continue to sharpen their craft, and then take information gathered from that point and apply it in real time. Much too much is being made of, for example, Rolando Roy Romero getting dropped in sparring bad. His legs were looking crazy. He was flopping around a little bit. And is he lost a step? Is he this? Is he that? He's really not that great. And you can feel that way. But I don't know the name, and I probably should, of the individual that dropped him. I don't know his coach. But what I do know is Rolando Roy Romero is excuse me, has one loss to Javante Tank Davis, arguably Jackson Moranes. He fought on the Showtime pay-per-view as a main event. He's made a bunch of money in the sport of boxing. He's a knockout artist with an awkward style who knows how to show up in the biggest moments in the bright lights. He came up short against Tank Davis, but he fought his ass off until he got stopped. My larger point is this. You think about fighters like Errol Spence Jr., Floyd Mayweather, Terrence Bud Crawford, the Charlo brothers, Vasil Lomachenko. These are some of the best fighters that we have in combat sports today. They're going to have days and moments in time in sparring that don't look super great. But oftentimes when you see these types of clips get posted, it's without context. For example, if you see a clip of Javante Tank Davis, he's sparring a guy and let's say he's getting the best of him. That being Javante Tank Davis. We don't know that they're doing, that they're not doing 10 minute rounds or that the fresh guy is always the opposition and Tank Davis is in a round robin situation. You just get the little clip that's most favorable for a scenario or situation. So in the absence of all the information, it's just best to pump the brakes on our assessment of fighters based on leaked sparring footage that can have a slant, if you know what I mean. At the end of the day, these guys that I just mentioned, that list of fighters, Spence, Mayweather when he was active, Crawford, uh, and a long list of fighters, they are the best in the business for a simple fact that they show up when the lights are the brightest. They know how to get in the square circle with 15, 16, 30, 40,000 individuals in the stands if you're an Errol Spence Jr. and they put on a show. They apply what they've learned, they learn from the mistakes that they've made, and they put it into action, they execute at a high level, and they put on a great show for all boxing fans. At the end of the day, let's respect the fighters from the from the realm of it's hard to prepare for a, a bout. Um, and also we don't have all the information and I understand that it's a slow period currently in boxing. Um, unless you're checking for Wood and Lada, which was last night, what are we talking about in the sport of boxing? The ladies had a couple great weekends, or excuse me, a couple great fights a few weekends ago. We know we have Kayla Plant Benavidez coming up. We're on the heels of the announcement of the official announcement of Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, and much, much more as we move into the summer. Hopefully we get an announcement with Errol Spence Jr. and Keith Thurman. But I do want to say, I think it's time that we operate with some patience and pump the brakes on these leaked sparring videos. And now that I'm on the subject of this, how do you jump into a ring in which you're not competing in and jump up and down and holler and scream about what's been done in a sparring session when you're not the combatant? Even the combat, the combatant don't act that way. That shit is mad corny. But shout out to them, shout out to the team. I wanna know what your thoughts are on sparring, league sparring videos, and the amount of weight that's been put into sparring. For, I mean, another thing that comes to mind is 
Danny Swift Garcia. Shout out to him. He recently moved to 154. Last fought, Benavidez Jr. Came out on top. Rev, the judges did try to rob him a little bit low key because he dominated in the fight. I believe it was fighthype.com put out a video um, essentially stating that he was destroying some sparring part, almost knocked his head off. Does that translate into the squared circle? Should we now believe that Danny Garcia, who's an amazing fighter, good left hand, great right hand, defense, technique, lethal left hand, uh, can now be one of the best and the brightest at 154? And I'm not saying he can't, but sparring is not telling me that he can. When you show up, when we pay the money for the pay-per-view or whatever the case may be, that's what tells me, is this guy next? Can he have a second chance at a dope career? Or is it over? He's over the hill. He's got too much mileage, too much damage, and his championship days are over. It's what happens on the Saturday evening, sometimes Sunday evenings, that determine how great these fighters are. These fighters are. This is your boy, JG. This is the Punch Report. Let me know what your thoughts are. Put them in the comment section. We out.